So next, next question is, uh, how can we experience Krishna's love? <coughs> One thing, Krishna is a personal being. Krishna is not impersonal. Krishna is, uh, is called the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And uh, we are also personal. We are not in personal entity. Hmm? So Krishna said that uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, he said, Mamai Vaso Jiva Loke, Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. He said that uh, every Jiva, every living entity is Dhyama eternal part and parcel. So every, everyone is connected to God. So if everyone is connected to God, how come we are suffering? Why is that? Because God, God means, uh, is, is God is the abode of love. That's God. But we are suffering basically in this material world because we are disconnected from him. Not because uh, it, 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 this is something because of our, of our own choosing. So because we turn our face away from God, so we are in this world of anxiety, of perplexity, so therefore we are suffering. But however, the moment we turn our face back to God, then we can actually start experiencing his love. Because uh, the, the relationship which everyone has with God, that relationship is based on love. Love is the main, is the main principle, is the main criteria. And the ones, when it's situated in, in that love, there is just, you know, there's just nothing comparable to it. Hmm? Nothing is more comparable, comparable than love of God. And love of God is such that when we are loving God, He's also loving us in return. Hmm? Actually, God, Krishna, He loves us much more than we love Him. Hmm? And that's the reason why He has to come again and again to the material world. We are there, we are suffering, because He actually loves us much more than we, we love Him. So He wants us, he wants us to come to Him and experience his love for us. So therefore, he keep coming to the material world again and again. He come in a different, different incarnations, you know. He, he performs so many, many activities just so that we can be attracted to him. Because when Krishna performs so many, many activities, when he, when he comes into the material world, and then we become attracted to those activities. And then once we become attracted to those activities, then we can become his devotees. We can become his lover. So, love of God, because love is a two-way street, it's not a one-way. We love him, we love Krishna, and Krishna also love, love, love us back. And that love is eternally increasing. The, 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 it's, it's, it's eternally uh, full of, full of uh, relishment. Actually, that relishment is so high that uh, there is no simple word for it. Love of God, there is no simple description to, to really understand love of God. You know, it's not, of course, those who actually attain that love, they relish it. And when they, talk, and when they want to talk about it, they can't even find a word, they cannot even find a word to it. Why, why is it? Because in this material world, we only, our only experience is limited to, to, material, to materialistic sounds. We, we, we have no uh, um, understanding of what is the uh, spiritual sense. So if someone tried to tell us about the uh, spiritual love of God, because it's a, because it's a spiritual sense, we will not understand. It's just, not, it's just totally beyond, uh, it's, because it's not a materialistic sense to, to, to understand. But if one comes to, to that experience of love of God, by associating with those persons who have that love, then gradually, gradually, the understanding can come gradually. <laughs>